So I wanted to talk to you today about family business and being an SME. To be frank with you, if you're a family business, you're not an SME. Let me talk a little bit more about this because this is something that most family businesses get really confused about. So if you're looking at normal business governance, right, what you have is shareholders, you have directors that make up board, and then you have the executive. Right? Fairly standard stuff that if you're a business of whatever size, whether you're a bank or whether you're a, a corner shop, you effectively have this. You might be all three, they may be different people, but that's what it is. So if you're an SME, that's your lot. Okay? If you're a family business, you have a whole other chunk of stuff that you need to get your head around. And we call that family governance. Right? And it fits alongside. So in family governance, what we have is the family charter. A key document that is, that is done by the family, takes a little bit of time, and I've talked about it in other videos and other blogs, but it's a really crucial bit of, of, of documentation that you work with as a family. It needs to have a 40-year view of what you're doing, so you're really looking long-term. Then, underneath that, you have family council, I'll talk about this in a second. And then for some families, they develop what you call a family forum. Now, many of the families that we work with combine these together and some keep them really separate. The main difference is family council is technically defined as the bloodline family members and the family forum is the whole family. So this is all the in-laws and the grandkids and all that sort of thing. Right? It depends on what you want to do. But these three, are critical in balancing up with your business governance. Okay? The key one, if I change colors here, is the link across here. Okay? Your family council is to the family governance what your board is to your business governance. Right? They're different, they have different responsibilities. But if you're a family business, you have this, and you need to start developing this stuff as well. It's critically important. It allows the family, most importantly, to align with what the business is doing. It streamlines the communication and allows family members who are not working in the business to have a really good idea of what is actually going on. So as a family business, think through what you really need to do. All right, yes, you've got this. Have you got this? We've worked with a family business who have literally doubled the size of their business in the last two years, primarily, not only because they're very smart business people, but because they have this stuff really working well. Right? It takes some time. It's not always the easiest, but absolutely critical for your successful family business.